Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. How are you all doing today? How was your weekend? What did you notice? What kind of, how did you take up space this weekend? I'm curious. Feel free to leave a note in the comments there. So, this week I'm using the Light Sears Tarot. I felt a real draw to get back to tarot this week. So I'm always curious because to me there's a bit more specificity in tarot, at least in my opinion anyway. Uh, so let's see, what do the cards have to share here? Ooh, two jumpers. I'm going to take that. <sighs> Spirit, what do we have in the cards? So again, the the word transition, but also the word power. So let's see. Ooh, I get why. Whoa, one more. Ooh, I love this. Okay. So this is really neat. So speaking of the jumper cards first, again, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I will read jumper cards as the umbrella energy point of view to read the rest of the cards, right? Gives you the direction, which way to look. So for the jumpers, we have Page of Pentacles and we have Two of Cups. So this is really interesting because this is within, this is talking about kind of new, new ideas in a very physical form coming into being. Okay, Pentacles are about our 3D life, our very physical life. And the page is like a new idea, new, um, the beginnings of something new. I really like that. And what these beginnings of something new are, are in a pairing of sorts. Now, Two of Cups is two parts coming together. This is more specifically within the heart space, the emotional space. So for some of you, this could mean there is a divine pairing coming together, maybe a deepening of a relationship right now, uh, maybe a pairing with someone or an organization that brings passion. Maybe you connect together with an organization and the, you know, together you create something amazing and it's based on your soul's passion. So regardless, this tells me that the umbrella energy right now this week is the coming together of stuff, something in a very 3D way. And that makes sense with spirit saying transformation, but in a powerful way, this is saying there's powerful new beginnings at play. I love that. What a great way to start. So the reason why I got even more excited though is what follows. So first out we had the King of Pentacles, which is, you know, the energy of somebody that is very grounded, knows who they are, knows what's going on, knows what's happening in a very tangible, real world way. This is someone that has accumulated wealth and knowledge of, of the world. Okay, when I say wealth, that can be physical wealth, yeah, fair. Um, spirits just stepping in there for a sec. It can be like money. It can be land. It can be technology. Like these are physical things can be the wealth that is accumulated, but it's also the knowledge of how to use it. Now, what's even more exciting is that this is paired with the queen of pentacles. There is the king and queen of pentacles. This means that whichever one is you, whichever one you would choose to embody more, maybe you connect more with the feminine principle, maybe the masculine principle, you are connecting in with a divine pairing in a very 3D physical way of this ability to be transformative in your most biggest powerful position. And again, what did we have as the jumper? Something new in the pentacles is coming in, in a pairing of two parts. And then we have pentacle pairings of the king and the queen. I love this. I just, I love this so much. So this week, notice where these pairings are happening. Notice if they're happening in current relationships you have. Uh, maybe they're new synchronistic meetings. We are moving into the direction of these divine counterparts, these divine unions, connections, pairings, because that is the energy of 2024, is people coming together to do better to transform with power, but it's not, it's not egoic power. It's power that's been gained through wisdom. Look at these two people. They sit there in an energy of like contentment and knowledge. This isn't arrogance. 
This is not needing approval of others. There is a, an inward reflection within both of them. The queen has her eyes closed. The king, he's just gazing softly. He's not in a position of, you know, dominance or anything like that. There's no power positions here. There's inward reflection. And I really want to emphasize that, that many of you have spent that time reflecting inwardly to figure out who you are and what you're about. And this is paying off because it's bringing together now these beautiful partnerships. Now, I also want to say there is something really interesting too. There's a, a request from Spirit in this to really allow yourself to open your mind to new creative ideas within what this could look like. And we see that with the Ace of Swords. Swords is all about the mind. And what I love about this tarot deck is how she uses essentially the Fibonacci sequence. The spiral is the Fibonacci sequence. And it's really representative of the spiral of ascension. So we will move through things in our lives and we'll sometimes come back around again to something and we'll think, I thought I moved through this. I thought I moved on. But what's happening is you're moving past that again from a higher perspective as you move up that spiral of ascension. And so this is why Spirit is saying, open your mind to things because you may have something fall back on your plate that maybe you weren't ready for before, but you are now. And if you open your mind, you're ready for it. And you're like, wow, I totally know how to do this thing, how to create this thing now. I get it. I didn't last year when it came up, but I do now. That's this card right here. So within these pairings, these partnerships, however that comes across, and maybe this is even maybe a deeper pairing between you and yourself in the physical world. Maybe you're starting to really honor the two parts of you and the expressions of that. Maybe what you do for your 3D work is one thing, but how you express yourself in your spiritual side is another thing, right? The pairings are endless, but listen to what resonates for you in that. There's a message for you in that. So opening your mind, okay, opening your mind. Then we have this King of Wands card. And this to me really speaks of that power piece that Spirit talked about. When you embody that King of Wands energy, regardless of gender, you can be female, male, you can, however you identify, you can embody the King of Wands energy. This is someone who recognizes their power. And I love that there's a lion in the background because that really represents power. When Spirit said transformation and power is underway, you can use this sparking, passionate, fiery energy of bringing your power in when you open your mind and in how you pair up, in how you create and co-create right now. So again, transformation and power is underway right now in the universe for you specifically this week. Huh, that feels good. That feels really good. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave that with all of you. Happy Monday. Uh, do check out the podcast today. This is a really fun podcast. It's all about how life is beautiful in the simple things. And Spirit wanted me to bring that through. And it, it was fun. It made me laugh. I hope it inspires you with simple things, just how we can see the world differently and allow that inner transformation to happen. So check it out either on YouTube here or on your favorite audio uh, platform and I hope you enjoy it. So thanks everyone. Have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow.